Let's check in with Stephen Nairns for that. Uh, we are looking towards better weather for the weekend. Of course, this morning out the door, kind of messy, wet, windy weather. Uh, the commute's been kind of a mess in Tulsa. That's the BA Expressway westbound around 129th East Avenue coming out of Broken Arrow. And you can see actually some folks also on the entrance ramp uh, you know, off the side there. But that traffic's been slow going. Our trackers have been watching the wet roads this morning, just keeping an eye on things. There's been some strong winds at times. Brandon Wells, Highway 412 view there. Sequoia Quentin's coming up around Salisaw. Again, this is all certainly manageable if you're just smart and slow things down. Have the windshield wiper going. You know, back off the gas pedal a little bit this morning and you'll be fine. Uh, rain still continuing in the Tulsa Metro. Some moderate downpours at times. This little line segment from Salsaw uh, through Tahlequah up to about Venita. That's where there could be some strong gusts of wind over 40 miles per hour. Now that will race out of the area pretty quickly. Rain will come to an end from west to east pretty quickly. Tulsa Metro after about 10 o'clock this morning, the steady rain, if not before then, starts to race out of here. So from west to east, a quick drying trend by the mid day hours. Some of the current wind gusts near above 30 miles per hour. Uh, in some areas it has settled down a little bit, but don't be fooled. The winds are going to come back up even stronger this afternoon with some gusts to 45 miles per hour. That's that wind advisory in effect, and it looks like there's plenty of wind Wednesday and Thursday as well. So on future view, again, here's the back edge of the rain zipping into Tulsa late morning hours. East of Tulsa hangs on a little longer. Later this afternoon, you saw that little wrap around there. There's some wrap around clouds, the area low pressure swinging through, and there's actually a little more instability there than there is right now. So there could be at about the 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. time frame, say from about northern Osage, northern Washington County, southeast Kansas. There's a very brief window that you could see one or two stronger storms develop. Otherwise, temperatures will be great outside of the wind. Winds do settle down the evening into tonight. Tomorrow morning, a chilly start. Tomorrow afternoon, most of us are still quite warm, but there's a cold front just on our doorstep. Out ahead of it, storms try to develop by Wednesday evening and Wednesday night, and especially across southeastern Oklahoma. And this would be tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Some of those could be severe. That's going to be kind of bear close watching for us late in the day tomorrow. And then the cho a chilly, colder air comes surging in. So we go from near 70 on Wednesday to the upper 30s and blustery on Thursday. Uh, from the near 70 on Wednesday to blustery, colder weather on Thursday before we start to warm back up over the weekend.